Hi guys. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing this as an extra intro actually because I did some quick tests with the diamond tool holder and uh, forgot about the clips and I hadn't put them together yet. Not as much of it in fact it's only about three minutes but uh, the reason I haven't done much out here anyway because it's been so darn hot anywhere between 85 and 90 and high humidity some days it's just impossible to work here for too long so anyway this is just an intro having a look at the uh, diamond tool holders literally a very quick look I haven't put it put them or it uh, the one I'm using haven't put it through its paces yet properly but uh, I think altogether they're a useful addition which is what I've said I think in one of the one of the clips so I'll let you watch that. It's just an update really and I'll hope to get onto something a bit more solid soon. Oh, by the way, uh, still haven't got my Y-axis uh, lead screw and nut for the mill. Uh, I think that should be here today or tomorrow, hopefully. And then it's a case of when it's cool enough to work in here to tear the darn thing down and do the replacement. So uh, anyway, carry on watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Just a very quick initial look at these diamond tool holders. Uh, I've got this other one set up. I probably won't use that so much. But the uh, main one here, just taking a few trial cuts. Depending on the angle I set it at, uh, depends what it can do. I've set it across to the left slightly here, which will allow for a bit of facing. then if I bring it around a little bit it's fairly critical to get it just right to get the best clean cut and I haven't really taken a monstrous cut yet I don't suppose I will actually although it's capable of it And that gives you a, a pretty good finish and probably if I bring it round to let's see what we can do with this one it depends very much what um, space I've got available but I could just do a quick touch there to give a little break the edge pretty straightforward And then the other thing, which I, the other thing I referred to before was this little, uh, this little jig. The uh, angled section is to put the tool in and uh, allow to get the grind at the right angle, making it very quick, take no time at all to freshen it up. And the back here is to assist with getting the 55 or 60 degrees for a threading tool so as I said I haven't taken monster cuts yet but I'm quite pleased with the versatility of it my old machine I don't know whether heavy cuts will be feasible but overall quite pleased with that and I think I've said before it'll take um, it'll take round stock and I might experiment with grind angles and 
I really want a bit more of a radius on the uh, front end of this. Anyway, that's just the first very quick look. Hopefully you'll see it in use at some point on a project later. Thanks for watching.